This is the Elegant Oxford with your host, Preston Soto. Hey everyone, just a quick, quick update. Uh, per your requests, I'm actually going to be moving my Spanish videos to another channel called the Elegant Oxford Español. I will not be uploading Spanish videos on this channel as to not mess up your recommendations. Um, so if you are a Spanish speaker, please follow the link in the description of this video and you can watch this video in Spanish or my other video in Spanish as well. Thanks guys. Let's get this thing started. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to lighten a pair of shoes. This is a really popular request I get, especially with Allen Edmonds, since their walnut color comes from the factory with a little bit more burnishing now than it used to. So a lot of people like me to remove that burnishing and expose the light color underneath. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Although this isn't a technique I would recommend for beginners, I actually learned this uh, technique uh, as the first thing I ever did to a pair of shoes. I bought a pair of Allen Edmonds strands and they had a very dark toe from the factory, which I didn't like. So I actually got some of my wife's nail polish remover and started to remove the finish. I don't know what got into me to be that brave because I could have ruined my shoes, um, but that's kind of how I discovered it. So I always enjoy taking a darker pair of shoes and lightening them up a little bit. It looks really cool, and some people actually prefer a light tan color over a, a little bit of a darker color. Now, this is probably going to be a little bit scary, but get acetone, and it doesn't have to be commercial grade from Home Depot or anything like that. You can just go to Walmart and get yourself some nail polish remover. That'll work just fine. And uh, using a cotton rag, just go over the finish and apply some firm pressure. Not too much, but just enough to remove the finish. And you'll notice that some of that factory spray-on finish will start to come off. Some companies use it, some companies don't, but if yours does, you can remove some of it and expose that light leather underneath. Now here's where I hope you can see a little bit of a difference from the left and the right shoe. It's a lot more pronounced in person. I wish the camera could really pick it up. But uh, one of the shoes, uh, the one on, on, on your left, is uh, a lot lighter and uh, it looks cleaner. And I think that's where I contacted the owner and he said he was really happy with that, turned out. So that's just one shoe down and I'm going to start the other and show you what they look like when they're both lightened up. Now the owner did not want a mirror shine just wanted a normal cream polish uh, shine which I think is completely fine for this pair and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Now for this project it's vital I do not darken the leather so I'm going to use some BIC 4 leather conditioner and uh, it's specifically marketed as a conditioner that does not darken your leather so it's perfect for this project. Um, not that any other uh, conditioner will darken your leather but Big Four is just really the safest choice for something like this. You want the, the walnut to stay really tan and not to darken in any way, shape, or form. So this is just perfect. My only complaint about Big Four is that it smells like vinegar. I just don't like the smell of vinegar, so I, I don't use it often. My dad loves Big Four. He has he bought a gallon of it, and he that's all he uses. So it's a great conditioner for all, all your shoes, um, and I really recommend it. Um, but uh, <laughs> it's not my personal favorite, but it, it does. it's very very appropriate for this job. So I actually get this question a lot. What if I get conditioner inside the broguing, little holes? Just get a, a, a shoe brush and just uh, stipple. So just dab straight up and down and the, the horse hairs will pull all that stuff out. As you can see, everything looks great. And then just start to brush once uh, the big four is dry. It only takes about five minutes. And it doesn't uh, shine as high as Renovateur by Saphir, but it does a really good job for, for the price and for what it is. So uh, it's great for this project especially. Mm -hmm. 
So here's my secret recipe, my secret weapon uh, for shines that don't require wax, just cream. It's Cola Neal 1909. David over at V-Cleat actually turned me, turned me on to this stuff because he likes to care for shell cordovan, and it's great for shell cordovan. It doesn't penetrate leather very well, and the colored line doesn't have a lot of pigment, but this neutral line is absolutely fantastic for projects such as these. It does take 25 minutes to dry, and uh, I'd say go even longer. But once it fully dries and you, you buff it with a, a horsehair brush, it really produces a very high shine that I absolutely love. And the best thing about Colonial 1909 is the smell. It is, smells absolutely wonderful. It's my favorite thing about it. It smells like men's cologne, and I think that it just smells really manly. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, a great, it's a great alternative um, if you're not going to do a wax polish and you just want a, a good shine using cream. So there's slight fraying here, so I'm going to use Phoebe's Soul Edge and Heel Polish. Uh, it's an edge conditioner, and it's just great for a little bit of color. I don't use it often, but it's great for this project here. As you can see here at the bottom, um, there's a little bit of fraying and color loss. So just add a little bit of it there, and it's, it's really great for uh, quick touch-ups. The before, normal, uh, normal factory walnut, and here's the after. It's just a shade lighter. But that is enough for customers to be really, really happy with the original walnut color. It's not dramatic or drastic, but it is sufficient for, uh, for you to notice and for those who are aficionados of the original walnut to, <laughs> to stay happy. So it's just a simple little project, but I recommend it if you are not pleased with your current walnut color. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at The Elegant Oxford. Links to my pages are in the description of this video. Remember, always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. See you next time.